rodeo is like no other sport. Um, everybody helps everybody. Nobody's ever against each other. It's always, you've drawn your head of stock and the challenge is trying to ride your head of stock. And if you do so well enough, then you'll come out on top. But the Cowboys never see it as competing against each other. Probably 80% of the rodeo game's mental. That's why having all your mates around all the time, keeping you positive and helping you out all the time really makes a difference. I started riding when I was, you know, little, just around the farm and on some old horses that we had. Then through friends we found out about rodeo and um, when I was about eight we went to some and we really loved it and then, you know, we made the decision to go rodeo rather than, you know, the pony club and eventing and stuff. So in 2016 I won the junior bell racing title and in 2017 I won the rookie Bell Racing title and the Rookie All-Round title. And I was the first female to win the All-Round Rookie title. So team roping is two people and I team rope with my dad, he's my header. It's really cool because we get to travel together and compete together and so it's just, it's really family orientated. Here he comes now, Annie Ricker! Yes, right off! Watch out, you bullfighters, watch out. Now they get the cowboy and the bullfighters big round of bulls. Didn't they do well? One of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to rodeo is that our spurs harm the animals. So I've got my hand here and I can run that spur up and down my hand quite hard and as you can see there's no damage to my hand at all. Now a bull's, a bull's hide is probably 10 or 20 times stronger than my little hand so yeah there's no damage at all caused to the animal. The role of the rodeo in Methven is quite large, it's most likely our biggest weekend of the year so our profits that are above what we need to run the rodeo go back into the community each year and we've donated over $12,000 in the last two years and then the Methven Lions handle the gate and they get paid a portion of that which then also goes back into the community. Over the last few years a lot more changes have been done to make it a lot better for the animals. So as far as animal welfare is concerned, we've got strict guidelines and we always follow them. 